Why do we use holy water? Especially when we come into church. I'm Father Bryce Higginbotham and we're here inside the cathedral in Homa. And the reason that we use holy water, especially when we come into church, is because the holy water brings us back to baptism. A couple weeks ago, I flew across the country to, to baptize Maximilian. Maximilian is the son of some wonderful friends of mine. And when we started the baptism, we began at the doors of the church. And at the doors of the church, I traced the sign of the cross on Maximilian's forehead and said, I claim you for Christ by the sign of his cross. So at, at baptism, we are claimed for Christ. We are washed free from original sin. And when we come into the church and when we use the holy water, we are reminded of three things. First, we're, we're reminded that we are being welcomed into the promised land. In the book of Joshua, chapter 3, the Israelites make their way finally, or the Hebrews rather, make their way finally to the promised land after wandering outside in the desert for 40 years. And God works a miracle. He parts the waters of the Jordan River, and all the people of the, all the Hebrew people, they cross through the water into the land which God had promised to Abraham and to Isaac and to Jacob and to them. And just so you and I, when we dip our hands in the holy water font, we know that we are coming into heaven, into the church, into the land which God has promised to us. So when we use the holy water, we know that we are coming into the promised land. Second, holy water cleanses us, if used with devotion, of our venial sins. If used with devotion, holy water cleanses us of our venial sins. So when I blessed this water right here in this font, I said these words. Almighty Lord and God, we ask you to bless this water which we use in confidence. Why? To implore forgiveness for our sins. Because as at baptism, original sin is washed away and we become children of God, so too when we use this blessed water with devotion, our venial sins are wiped away and we are brought more closely into communion with God. Finally, we use holy water when we come into church and we even take holy water home and use it at our houses because holy water banishes the power of Satan. That prayer by which I bless this water, it continues. It says, not only do we ask God to implore forgiveness for our sins, but also to obtain the protection of your grace, of God's grace, against all illness and every snare of the enemy. So you take holy water home and maybe you bless your house with it, saying the Hail Mary and the St. Michael prayer with your family. And remember that, yes, we fight not against flesh and blood, but against the demons and against the world and against our own flesh, against sin and against those parts of our lives that are not of God. But we have help that God gives us the graces that come with the holy water, the graces that bring us back to our baptism to welcome us into the promised land, into the church, into the liturgy, into heaven, to free us from our venial sins and to strengthen us, to give us aid in the power against the enemy. So when we come into church this Sunday, let's remember those things. Let's use holy, with devo holy water with devotion and let's come up into heaven. Amen.